you know, my, my son, he's got good friends, he's attending school, and hopefully the, the feelings that he wants to do something in his life. And uh, he wants to go on and do things as other white kids. But there's no opportunity, you know? And the thing is that uh, that's the anger that I have, but I still, you know, way back then to this 2020, you know? It's a long, long journey for us. And, you know, it, particularly in this country. Mabo day today, and we want to pursue that with our children. Thank you. Um, I just want to say, watching that, um, as his older sibling, it's disgusting, honestly. Um, if he had felt any other way, he could have got much more worse than what he had already got. So to see that, and we are all just feeling, you know, um, just anger that we can't express and sadness that, you know, we live in a society where this stuff is, is normal. And that's all I'd like to say. Um, uh, as his mum, I feel afraid of the whole process. I think of the natural na um, uh, paranoia of everything, as we know that we are smaller. Um, but in terms of watching what happened, um, I'm still in shock, really. And um, I never want to say that, because He's got a nice nature, you know. If you treat people with a, in a way that's going to make them... We, we don't want to go down. We want to keep his nature, you know, make him feel at, um, good about himself, you know. Everything around us always makes us feel like we're inferior or we're not better or there's some reason why we're not cutting it. And I've had the experience of m dealing with lots of grief and lots of multiple suicides, eight youth suicides in my community of youth, you know. So we need to be careful of, of the, of the um, things the young people are carrying with them trying to make a life a starting life. Thank you.